Hey, how's it going subscribers? Welcome back to another brand new video from the Flaming Profits YouTube channel. I'm very excited to share this brand new video with all of you because I will be discussing the exact method that I use to generate cash flow and keep it going, increasing my rate of returns consistently. So what it comes down to is your income is your greatest wealth creating tool. Without income, especially in the beginning, you won't be able to go far unless you were just giving a certain amount of money that you can start off with. But your income is very important. Make sure that you take care of it. Make sure you keep it going. Increase your income. If you're not getting paid more within two years, your income is drying out. Do what you have to do. The first day in your new job, you should be looking out for a promotion, the next level position. Every day you should be working towards that. If not, then it's a waste of time for you to be working. When you feel confident you know everything in your job position proficiently, start asking for the next level opportunity. This is a mistake that I see people that people do not do. They keep stagnant on their job position. They're not acquiring new skills that will make them more valuable to the overall economy. And if you're not offered uh, a position internally within a reasonable time frame, uh, with new skills, using the skills that, that you already have, you have to look externally. Be on the move always. You're in a rush. You can't afford not to be. You have to invest in your education or skills in order to increase your income because your income is ultimately your greatest asset to a path of wealth. It's worth it, definitely, as long as you are not taking out loans and it is between your means. So, um, to explain my cash flow, I'm going to go ahead and reveal it now. So, my income. I take my income and I 80% of my income goes directly to investments and savings. I know this is crazy high, but fortunately I'm in this position where I'm able to invest and save 80% of my income. Um, I know a lot of you might not be in this fortunate position, but it's definitely better to start uh, with the recommended amount of 20% and slowly grow it. It's definitely possible as long as you continue to work on lowering your expenses. So 80% of my income goes directly to savings and investments and then 20% goes to expenses. And believe it or not, I'm still trying to limit the 20%. I'm trying to lower it. I'm actually, I actually have a goal of having 90% of my saving, of my money, my income going directly to savings and investments and only 10% going out to expenses. So always work towards increasing the percentage of your income that you keep and lower the percentage of income allocated to expenses. I would highly recommend you use apps like Mint that track all of your expenses for you directly from your credit or debit card or bank account. It helps you budget because it knows exactly where you spent your money and how much you made. It's difficult to face the truth, but the sooner you start, the better you will be. My biggest weakness is definitely uh, in food spending. That is my biggest expense, believe it or not. This has been a challenge for me for so long. I just find it so convenient to eat out, but this is still only a small portion of my income. I invest and save five cents more than what I spend. I still work every day to lower my food spending. Any advice, subscribers? Let me know in the comments section, how can I lower my food spending? This is something that I've been struggling for so long and I need help. So I use 80% of my income for swing trade stocks, which bring in 200 to 500 in profits every two to three months. That's my, usually, uh, that's my usual trading session for my swing trade stocks. Then I use those profits that I made from those swing trade investments to invest in dividend stocks, which then produce dividends. Usually all of my dividend stocks are somewhere between 3 to 5 percent to have a 30, 3 to 5 percent dividend yield and then those dividend stocks produce dividends and those dividends accumulated over time lead to me being able to buy more shares in my swing trade investments which then lead to higher profits from my swing trade investments which then lead to more shares of dividend stocks which ultimately ends up in larger dividend payouts and then I literally repeat the cycle 
uh, 30 to 40 years until I decide to just live off the dividends. And here I'm showing you um, this interesting thing that I saw that the average investor makes 15% rate of return on their investments. But with my strategy, as you saw in my Robinhood portfolio, my all-time return is at 30%, not 15, which is the average annual return. I'm doing a lot better than most investors and that's due to my cash flow system where I use a mixture of swing trade investments that lead to high short-term uh, profits and then I turn it into my dividend stocks and then those dividend stocks produce dividends which helps me being able to buy more shares of my swing trade investments. So I use 80% uh, of my income for my swing trade stocks which bring in 200 to 500 in profits every two to three months. And uh, also what I wanted to point out is with my swing trade investments, I make around five to 10% average returns every month to two months. And then I use those dividends from the dividend stocks to buy more shares and swing trades leading to higher profits, more shares and dividend stocks and more dividends. So this is exactly what I do. This is my cash flow system that keeps my money going and creating higher percentage returns from my investments. They don't require any time uh, outside of my work, just literally like changing investments here and there and buying more shares. So it's not something that's occupying my time like a job. So as long as I keep this going, it should accumulate to a large amount of money. And whenever I want to stop being actively working on this, I can literally just let the dividends run for me and use those dividends to pay for whatever I would like to. So this is exactly what I do. I would highly encourage you to develop a cash flow system like this where you're constantly using your money to make you money through different ways. Uh, that way it'll grow exponentially. This is very important that you start especially at a young age because they lead to insane results. And I'm actually looking to add another layer to my cash flow system where I can make a higher rate of return. So maybe like a business idea or something like that where I'm using my own money to make even more money. So I'm still looking through different avenues, but let me know if you have any ideas or things that you do to, to use your cash flow to make you even more money. Yeah, so I'm very interested in what you guys think of this video. Uh, those are my referral links. You can use any of those. For free stuff it also helps out the youtube channel a lot i would highly encourage you to use any of those links it really helps us out and it helps you as well make sure you subscribe to this flaming profits youtube channel uh, we're growing like crazy we're almost getting close to 200 subscribers i'm very excited for us to reach this milestone thank you all so much for everything that you do for watching these videos i really appreciate your view please like this video it really helps the youtube algorithm it helps this video get to more viewers like you. So please make sure you like and subscribe as well. Alright, so thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.